Medicine is advancing rapidly. We have gone from making big open incisions to much smaller incisions, particularly in cardiac surgery and vascular surgery. But to be able to do that, we need imaging technology and tools and capabilities that we don't normally have in traditional operating rooms. I think this is actually probably the single most important investment any hospital can make for a community because it really expands the number of approaches and procedures and less invasive procedures that we're able to offer our patients. For the last 75 years, Dominican has strived to be the most innovative organization to allow patients to get more efficient health care right here in Santa Cruz County. We have very, very excellent physicians who are already doing extensive procedures. And this new investment allows us to expand our services broader and to build on our excellent work that our physicians are already providing with our staff. Aortic valve replacements is a very common procedure that we do in cardiac surgery. Typically what we do is when we do those procedures is that we open up the chest, we put you on the heart-lung machine, stop your heart, and then replace your aortic valve. Now we're able to do those procedures without opening the chest, without stopping the heart, and placing the valve in its native position. Patients do a lot better. They're able to go home faster, they're able to recover a lot faster. But to be able to do all that stuff, we need the technology and we need the facilities to be able to do that. And this is what the hybrid room provides us. It provides us the technology and the facilities to be able to provide that service to our patients in a more effective manner. I'm very proud of what we have done so far to invest in our community and to provide the most up-to-date health care in Santa Cruz County. But we still have more opportunity and we need everyone's help. I see that they're trying to make it a world-class facility for Santa Cruz County. Obviously, it's an investment for our community and for my family and for my friend's family. And if you're a local person, I think you should, you should step up and try to help. Obviously, I have two boys and three grandchildren right now, hopefully more. And to have a world-class facility here is immeasurable. We rely on our community to continue to support us in our efforts to invest in new technology and new innovations for the community of Santa Cruz. And we're very proud of each individual donor who steps forth to help us, and we look forward to the future to having even more opportunities for improvement. You know, I've been involved in a lot of places where they build hybrid rooms, and the ability to see it in a virtual reality form makes it a lot better for us to plan for what we need and how we're going to proceed forward. The hybrid room is going to extend beyond just cardiac or heart-related procedures. It's going to incorporate vascular surgical procedures where we're re-establishing blood flow to extremities and limbs. It's going to provide services for stroke intervention. It's going to provide services for interventional radiology. This is going to be the future, and this is what's going to define our future. And we don't want to be left behind. <laughs>